Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Regulars. I'm Stacey McGonigal. I'm Jason DeRoss. Oh, my God, Jason, do you know what I did? Hey, everyone that's listening. So I thought I had you our... your full name. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Guys, The Regulars. Guys, I can't even... Sorry, this is a <laughs> wild, <laughs> crazy situation. Um... It is. Uh, so we had so many tech issues from the top. Mm-hmm. And the first one was um, the lipstick brooch, which was just trouble yeah. at first. So I've decided, I can't even find it. I've decided to wear a brooch and um, the placement was not correct. And so we had to fix mm-hmm. it. Um, and then I had major internet issues. And then I started the stream without our little opening cards. It was just us like this. Just waiting for the stream <laughs> to start. So um, this is what I like to call... Behind the drapes. Behind the drapes. <laughs> um, and let me tell you, uh, it's a classic Monday. Quarantine or not, we're having a bit of a Monday. It it looked like you were reaching for a sound effect button there. And I was like, I can't wait for these new sound effects. Oh. I thought you had one for behind the drapes. I, I don't have one for behind the drapes quite yet. Quite yet. But um, mm. but I'm I'm awaiting it. I'm I'm looking. I'm looking. I was also, you know, if you can always feel like, uh, you know, you could always send, you know. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How was your weekend, Jay? And how was everyone's weekend in the chat? Let us know. Yeah. I mean, mine was um, this. It, all days are blending together, except I don't get to do the podcast with you. It actually Aww. felt weird on Saturday not doing the podcast. I had a few people reach out and tell me. Um, that they wanted to, that they went on to the YouTube channel to, um, to see the stream and we just weren't there. Because they didn't realize it's Saturday. We're still doing weekends, guys. We're still trying to live a normal life a little bit. That's hilarious. As if I have anything normal in my day to day that would require <laughs> um, me not being on YouTube streaming. I mean, I don't have a family or anything, so. Um, I had a great weekend. I... Um, Sort of rewatching a favorite show of mine called Nashville, which is just a really sexy country themed soap opera with really great music. And I was living for it. Let me tell you. So you are a country music fan, which I didn't love know. country music. I love country so music. So Neil Arts is an actual band of yours. Yeah. So first of all, if you followed us on our bachelor thing, I feel like also I want to talk about my new desk at some point. Because I feel we'll like get into Deskgate. Okay, we're gonna get into Deskgate, but um, I got into Nashville, and that's been really great. I love music, uh, country music, so much. Tennille Arts was a, a a band I liked before The Bachelor yeah. stole her. So take or leave, take or leave. Yeah, Madison was not into it, but we're we're not gonna get into the back. We're not going <sighs> back to we the can't. Bachelor because there was so many articles. There's so many articles about Peter and his quarantining and everything that I'm like, can we just let Peter go? I feel like there's his, more. His 15 minutes are up. I feel like there's more on Hannah Brown and Tyler C's quarantine. They've they've started a well, quarantine maybe I just get different because I didn't follow that season. So maybe I, my feed is Peter Weber. Right. Full. My feed is very much Hannah Brown, very much Tyler C. Very much, very much. So my 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 feeds are changing. They're always constantly changing. What do you mean your feeds are changing? So you know how it's like targeted marketing and everything else, and they kind of like feed you what you want. Like during a writing process, I'll start looking into like what's going on in the world. Oh, right, because you're currently writing a new show in LA. Uh, Sort of, but that's not happening right now because we're not too deep into it because of coronavirus. We've put a bit of a hold on it, but like. I, uh, like a year ago, all of a sudden I was getting like all these different talks from like, you know, a bunch of people that I was like, Oh geez, my, my, my things filled up with like right. Ben Shapiro I, uh, and like, like oh, hold on a second. Cause you're, my feed is uh, getting, like, loading and I can't uh, turn it off because my like, internet <laughs> you know, a bunch of classic. But then you start looking up for weird, weird stuff for sketches and then you have to like cross the border and they have that thing that Passions they scare you with. They're like, they're allowed to check your phone now and look at whatever they want. They can. And I'm always worried about like what they're going to find. Cause I'll look up weird stuff for, cause we're getting into like sketches and we want to talk about like in this current show, I talk about a guy singing about, you know, his 13 year old girlfriend. And okay. He's yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. So I'm, you just, I'm just like, what, what's going to pop up in my feed? Like, <laughs> something that's going to cross the board and be like, excuse me? 
Oh, right. Like your comedy. In this current show I talk about. Like, Sorry. My internet, like I'm telling you, I'm having a full Monday tech I can fail. hear it. I can hear the playback. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening either. I can't. I can't and I shan't. Um, so now you're, sorry, you're worried about the border? I was really distracted. It's just like my research. I'm not afraid of them about finding out about my comedy. I'm right. worried about the, when the research of it, what stuff starts to pull up because they listen to your phone and everything. Right, your feet. Because uh, basically we're satirizing like old songs where guys were way too old singing about young girls like Beach Boys or okay. Jerry Lee Lewis or whatever. Uh-huh. And what's going to all of a sudden pop into my feed because they're listening to me and I'm like, oh, this could go. Right. I love that you go. had ample choices to choose of the things you've researched and you've chosen to really keep going back to this one sketch you did. <laughs> that is questionable. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, um, Jason's feet aside, I would like to switch um, gears a little bit. And um, I would like to first off say happy Monday. I made this graphic and it covers up Jason's face, but I made it and I wanted to feature Emily Richardson who did the graphics for this. Um, happy Monday, everyone. I wanted to say something happened this weekend that I've been waiting for, dreaming for, and it all came together. And that is, I got a new desk. Deskgate. Deskgate has come to a conclusion. And let me tell you, there's a story behind it. And of course there would be with anything related to uh, Miss McGonagall over here. Um, I, I got, saw your stories. I know where this is going. We haven't talked about this, but we haven't talked about out. this. So I got a new desk and um, I just bit the bullet. Uh, it happened when I was working at my old desk and my chair became wobbly again because the first time I stood up and the chair disintegrated off my ass. It fell apart. I, I have no idea yeah. where all the screws went. Like, I don't know. So I was like, that's it. I'm just buying a new desk. This is the burger and Vic trap. Every time you go out, they, they loosen a screw just a little bit. Honestly, it feels that way. <laughs> no, no joke. Like it truly does feel that way. So Dog pranks. <laughs> yeah, that's what they say after they do it. They go, dog pranks. <laughs> and they high five. The high paw. <laughs> they high paw for sure. <laughs> um, so I bit the bullet and um, Ikea was like, oh, we'll deliver this in a day. Like it was actually so fast. Okay. Which is crazy at these times right now to get that. Well, it feels crazy in these times for me to be going, well, let's update the home. <laughs> Although I feel like yeah. I'm not the only one thinking that. You're home. No, because you're home. Yeah, you're just looking we're, around. Me, we're thinking about it, but I'm like, do we order something right now? Is some guy in a warehouse going to like cough and puke all over the thing he's bringing over? Oh, I didn't like, even oh, think great. about that. So I ordered a new desk and a new chair. Okay, so hello, bank account. And um, yeah. it came. So I decided to get a... I love that this is now content. I decided to get a Carlby um, countertop and uh, it's like six feet long. It's a long ass desk. I've seen the desk. I've seen the finished product. It's nice. What do you think about it? It's great. It's funny because you have the before and after picture and uh -huh. it's all the exact same stuff on your desk. It's just spread out more. And your passion planner is placed on the new one. <laughs> well, I've this. reopened it. I have the time. Uh -huh. We should talk about the passion planner because we've we've made new friends on the internet here and um, we should tell them what it is. Anyways, so, but when Ikea came, the, well, not Ikea, it was like a delivery company. They um, first of all told me I would be getting my stuff at 5 p.m. Okay? No, 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 no. Uh, 20 to 9 in the morning. Ring-a-ding. We're going to be there in a minute. Usually they say we're going to- Exceeding gonna expectations, Ikea, is what I'm Exceeding. hearing. Exceeding, exactly. So I pop out of bed. <laughs> I go, oh, here's the desk, right? Like Mary Poppins, pop out of bed, like sound of music, singing, birds are dressing you as you run to the door. It's Sunday. I'm going to make a coffee. I'm up early. <laughs> uh, the productivity- I'm only seeing positives. I'm only, and me too. I'm only seeing positives, <laughs> right? Wow. Wow, what supreme service. This is incredible. Um, I open the door. There comes the movers. And they proceed to crack and dent and break almost every single box as they throw it onto my floor. Mm -hmm. And they uh, put the countertop, um, they hang it up on one of my walls um, or lean it up against. And I realize it's been, the box is destroyed, that the countertop is scratched. I was like, you've scratched the countertop. And they said... No apology. They didn't apologize. They just went, call Ikea. And then they closed the door on me. 
Wonderful. Wonderful. And and again, a couple episodes ago, I said, hey, I'm not an angry person. I'm working on it. So I was very calm. I said, hey, I noticed, I even did that. You know when you're like mad and you're like, okay, I can't yell at this person. I was like, I don't know how to bring this up. Hey, hey, friends. This is my life, by the way. Yeah, I know. I turned into you a little bit. And I was like, <laughs> um, I can't help but notice this is broken. This is yeah. ripped. And there's a big gouge out at my countertop. Anyways, they didn't care, and I had to call Ikea as per usual whenever. This is why I don't online shop. This is why I don't have things delivered. But again, this is a Disney story, Happily Ever After. Happily Ever After. Ikea, I, after some prodding, I certainly had to turn into, may I speak to the manager? Okay. Um, never. My tip is never accept the first offer. I feel like this is a Stacey vibe. Your vibe in life is, may I talk to the manager? I don't want it to be. <laughs> I, I don't want to be blessed with this skill. Like conversations with your boyfriends must be nice. May I talk to your manager? Can I talk to your excuse me? I don't me? think that's the way it works. Today. I'm not happy here. I'm gonna... Can I talk to the manager, please? Oh, you're the manager? You're the manager? No. I'd like to speak to the general manager, there's please. There's no way that you would care less about your life. <laughs> there's a manager for sure. <laughs> I love that. Approaching every relationship with a, can I speak to the manager? Excuse me, hi. We've been together eight years. I'd like to speak to the manager. <laughs> no, 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 no. I need someone mature and in charge and authoritative, please. I'm, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. That's not a good enough. No, I would like store credit, please. Store credit, please. If I even decide to, to ever come back. <laughs> Uh, Anyways, Ikea gave me a discount and it's fine. And But it took me all day to set up this. It, literally, when you look at it, it's a slab of wood on a shelving unit. And let me tell you, it involved it looks great. pilot holes. Um, lifting this very... It's cr so crazy when you live by yourself, the strength that you find. Did you have to put that together by yourself? Who was going to help me? The, the, del the delivery guys? No, the, the, the little mice and the birds that helped you get dressed on the way to the door. <laughs> no. Get out of here, mice. Birds, please. Oh, my God. Um, I like that you think I'm dressed like Cinderella today. Do you notice the puffy sleeves? Like, I really came correct for this Monday. Yeah, I did not. I know. I, I wore, like, dad tee. It's got, like, the long sleeves, but half long, so three-quarter right. sleeves. I think three quarter length. I think that's just called a t shirt, but you've decided to call it a dad tee. No, three quarter. But look at the sleeves that go down to, like, no, almost No, I'm your seeing wrist. it. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it for sure. Well, anyways, the desk is set up. And then that meant that I had to take my old desk. Okay. And I should tell you, no one cares about this anymore. We're 12 minutes in. Everyone's like, I don't care about your desk. Um, mm -hmm. I tried to perform an Ikea hack as seen on Pinterest. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. It involved me taking apart my old desk. Realized it wasn't going to happen. Had to re-put together the old desk. But it's okay. I put it outside along with my office chair. It's already gone. So it's it's in a new home. Oh, I would take it in a heartbeat. I'm dying for a desk. Oh well, listen, God. I highly recommend the first desk I had. It was 90 bucks. Treat yourself. Yeah. I like you. Yeah. I got to go, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyways, I got a new little chair. Ooh, who is she, though? And um, here we are. Beautiful. But I did pull my back out. So I felt like I had a Jason Duras weekend. I pulled my back lifting. Well, yeah, you passively uh, yelled at people. I mean, that's that's my thing is like. I passively yelled. I um, lifted I think things. You, I think you that... left the uh, tip of your knife in my stomach here. <laughs> I think you left the tip of your knife in my stomach. Hey, uh, I'm sorry. Hey. I don't mean to call it out. Uh, you can put your knife wherever you want. <laughs> hey, I don't want to like be rude about like this because like you're murdering me, right? So I don't want to judge or anything. I just <laughs> feel like you're not being efficient enough. Like it's hurting. All the stamps, it's like you were mad at me or something. <laughs> I can't help but take it personally, but I don't want to make this weird. <laughs> yeah, that's my vibe. Jason, you have the best vibe board. Like Jason has, since I've known him, gone to the worst barbers and hairstylists, and he just can't break up with them. I will say that I found a new guy, and I'm in love. <laughs> and I, can't. I've only went I don't once, believe it. And I'm in love. I'm in love with Danny. Uh, Okay. Danny at the proper barber. Uh, hey, man, high fives. Uh, but now that this Corona thing is going on, when am I going to see Danny again? Yeah, when are you going to see Danny again? I don't know. And I really, I really need him. Oh, you feel like your you hair is getting crazy? Oh, yeah. 
I look at this playoff beard that doesn't come in. I don't want to talk about it, and I don't really want to acknowledge it. And if you don't know what we're talking about, you can go to youtube.com slash Stacey McGonigal, and we go live Monday through Friday now, 1230, and you will see whatever Jason is calling, whatever that is on his face. I Jan Caruana called it a playoff beard, and she wants to see it happen. And it's, trust me, this is like the lo longest it's going to look for the next month, but I'm not going to shave it. Oh, gosh. For Jan Caruana. I wonder if she's in the feed. Usually she says hello. We'll see if she is. Um, I'd also like to talk about something that happened this weekend that I did, which was um, shocking. Nigel's here. Oh, see, Nigel. Okay, so uh, uh, Nigel um, reached out last week. When am I going to see Danny again, though? <laughs> um, so Nigel Downer, who is an incredible comedian currently at the Second City and has an amazing series on CBC Gem called Bit Players, which everyone should watch because it's very, very good. We're going to have yeah. him. We're going to have him on the show this week. And I am calling it a show now. I have to manifest what this is. Also, I have to. Like, the reason why he's asking me more than likely is because Nigel is the most fashionable person. Hands in down. Circle of friends. Oh, I, I uh, would say that Nigel. was your writing process beard too. I would, <laughs> that's fair. Um, <laughs> Nigel is truly okay. So Nigel Downer is truly one of the most stylish people you'll ever meet in your life. If you even have the honor of meeting him and I have been pushing him to start a style Instagram, which I think he should. I mean, we have the time. You he call him from change from fitting rooms in. Yes, in I malls. do. If I'm in, um, thank you for clarifying that I'm in a mall. Just never a solo store. I'm perusing. Sure. Claire's, is that a thing? I'm not going to Claire's. Okay. Or Dean's, which is, I think, out of business. But um, I will text Nigel photos of my outfit and be like, yay or nay. And he's honest. He's good with fit. He knows everything. That's the type of friend you need. I will say this in my defense. No, um, there's none. There is. No. Because... Nigel, uh, during the process, they always put me in a vest because they're like, how do we hide that little pudge? They're like, put him no. in a vest. And no. They did. No. They did. Watch any of the shows. I'm in Jason, a vest. Jason, it's because you asked for a vest. vest. Okay. Let me clarify for people who have no idea what's going on. When you work at Second City, you get a stylist, right? And then you get put in clothes. But Jason would always ask for a vest. You always ask for a vest. He always wanted to wear a vest. my first three shows. I'm telling you, they put, by the end, I probably was. I was in your was first, I was in your last two shows. Last two shows. There you go. Two, two, the first two though, they, they put me in a vest the first, anyways, what I was getting at is Nigel always got these like awesome, like dress shirts and stuff. Yeah. They're colorful. They're very because awesome. He advocated and for stylish, himself. And he looked great. Because he However, asked, he, he asked for them. We all yes. asked for our outfits, except for Jason, who would just go, this is fine. This is fine. Except for, uh, I, I cried <laughs> once, uh, but here's the one. <laughs> It was at the race car shirt. Is, if you put those shirts that Nigel got yeah. on me, it instantly turns into a bit because <laughs> no, it doesn't. I can't pull that off. No, yes, you I can't can. pull off the clothes that he pulls off. He can pull off any. You can put him in a garbage bag, and I'd be like, "Oh, so that's the style now? Cool. Okay, I guess I have to get in a garbage bag." I disagree. I think everyone can wear anything. It's all about confidence. The fact is, Nigel just like has confidence that he looks good. Guys, go check out Bit Players. Bit Players. Nigel Downer and Chris Siddiqui, like one of the funniest men on the planet. Too. It's too. such a great show. We'll have him on this week. Nigel, I'm sorry I didn't plan it for today. But we can call him too, unless he wants to webcam in. Ooh. Um, okay, so I did want to talk about um, what happened to me yesterday. Uh, that was, I didn't see coming. I'm happy it did. And I'm shocked at the, the result. Last night, yeah. I played D&D, &D, Dungeons and Dragons. But... Okay, I assume I assume over like a Zoom or a, oh, what did just, you guys use? It was just a bunch of people. We just all got together. We just were hanging out. Uh, no, no, I but, over uh, Zoom. I think this is a talk that most people are having right now. Is like, how are you hanging out digitally? <laughs> <laughs> no, why am I getting laughed? You after just this? sound like such a dad going, "Hey, hey, kiddo, how are you hanging out digitally? How are you doing it?" <laughs> You getting on the what one are you kids too? using nowadays? You huh? guys, you guys getting on, on the, the googie? You getting on the googie and find a little thing? I just talked to my grandma. She's like, "Are you skyping people?" And I'm like, "You know, she doesn't have the internet. She's not watching this." Oh no. Um, I love her, but she's not watching this. Well, I went on Zoom and I played Dungeons and Dragons with a with a bunch of pals. And let me tell you, McGonagall got into the sauce. She got into some Pinot Grigio and oof, yeah. the white wine. The white wine is an instant hangover, and I certainly have one. I'm feeling delayed in my brain. Yeah, because we're not we're not drinking as much anymore because we're at home. 
Sure. Yeah. Okay. Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> no, um, I had some bevs and played some Dungeons and Dragons. I can't. I thought you'd be more shocked that I was playing Dungeons and Dragons. I am, and I'm not. Okay. Um, because it seems like it's quite. It's. I mean, like the revival of Dungeons and Dragons has been happening for a while now, and like it only was a matter of time before. You've got friends that play it for sure. So like now you're at home. Right. If they're all playing it, it's still a very social thing to do. I know, but when you're trapped inside. <clears throat> it's actually quite fun. And um, you get to just like create a character and then you get to like do whatever you want with the character. Now who's explaining things? What do you mean? Explaining Dungeons and Dragons. Everyone knows you get to pick a character and you create a character. We should actually probably just call Nigel because he is... And like he is a classic nerd and I say that with love and he knows all this stuff. Maybe which is... we should pick a subject. We'll talk to him this week and we'll pick a subject that he can like explore okay. that he'll love to like ner- some sort of, we'll call it a nerd subject, but he loves comic books and he loves comic all books, these other things. Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. I will tell you that I played a woman named Sharon. Um... Okay. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I only played this when I was a child and, uh-huh. I, and like we were creating like characters with like I've got two samurai swords in the yeah. back and I'm like I look and then <laughs> to have <laughs> Stacey McGonagall walk in and be like my power is I have the wit uh, yeah <laughs> like, uh, oh I, I, I had find sales no problem I was given my like strengths and weaknesses and I um I'll tell you I didn't have many and I just had brute strength no skill just strength <laughs> which I thought was um yeah. Oh, Chris is the D and D guy. Sorry. Thanks, Nige. Um, so we'll we'll talk to Chris Siddiqui too because Chris Siddiqui has a podcast with uh the lovely Jay McCarroll, who's an incredible musician as well. And yeah. um they have a podcast for D and D and Jay is an incredible musician and has scored the whole thing. Anyways, my name I was I love this new thing. Sharon, was she an admin assistant for a small accounting <laughs> office? That is your character. And it likes pencils, uh, one of those pencil skirt dresses and stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, like... so Sharon has brute strength, not mm. a lot of charisma. Um, she's not very smart. <laughs> <laughs> this she is what was in given HR. To... <laughs> well, she has high points in wisdom. So basically, she's just a woman who goes, been there, but doesn't offer solutions. <laughs> This is the woman during any point of the game. She can be like, can I see you in my office, please? Yeah. <laughs> and then I go, you know why you're here, right? <laughs> and then they, everyone else has to explain why they're in trouble. And I go, so we won't be doing that again. Because the consequences <laughs> will be, well, I'm glad we're on the same page. <laughs> yeah, my, my D&D character didn't have like a huge skill set in any capacity. So... You know what I did? I had a, I had a similar weekend uh, because we did the same thing. We had like you played D and D. No, right. but we did like um, we had a pub trivia night, but we all sat in our houses in our own little pubs, and we had like rounds where we would be the quiz master, and then another household oh, would be. Oh yeah! And I didn't realize that because I'm dumb as poo. I was like, oh, this is going to be good. So I came up with questions that were um, even if you didn't right. know, you didn't know you'd you'd be able to guess. Maybe like I was trying right. to find questions that are like. Uh, well, if you if you don't know because it's a niche question or whatever, you could still make a guess and probably possibly get it right. Right. I put a lot of thought into it, and then when I went in there, everyone was like, had the funnest dumb questions. They're like, <sighs> like, what line of dialogue is this movie from? And then they just be quoting like Dumb and Dumber. I'm like, this is way more fun than me being like in 1993. Well, that's classic. You you just go <laughs> above and beyond, and no one has asked for it, and no one needs it. Like we're all going, hey, let's just have a good time, and you're like, no, no. You said the party was themed. The party was themed. <laughs> we're like, listen, we're. It was just fun. We just needed a reason to get together. No, no, no. I'm in full costume, guys. I know that we're all chatting about stuff here on Good Time. Can we get back to the game? Can we please? Can we focus? And can we get back to the game? Can Question we get back four. to the game? Word for <laughs> yeah. It was a fun time though. We had a great time. Well, it's kind of cool that like you know, um, how we're all uh, adapting and and we all still need a bit and we all still need a theme and I don't know. I think it's I think it's nice to connect with people that way. How many like executives after or like um, programming directors are going to be hearing pitches about like oh yeah? So you're on the screen and everybody's like in different locations. Yeah. We all got the corona. It's during Corona time. Like it's going to go crazy now. There's going to be so many everyone... shows like that formatted like that for sure. Yeah. 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 
Um, do you have any dumb stories for today? It's funny because I was just going to say that. Um, yeah, we got some dumb stories. And one of them is actually, so since the coronavirus, all of my sources where I grab these things from all yeah. seem to be like, here's news about the coronavirus. They're odd, weird, uh, strange right. stories that have kind of fallen to the wayside. I would like to... Today we, there was actually a new one. Oh, really? There was a new one today. That's amazing. For once. I love how you have sources now. Sources. Sources. Well, like, uh, well, what else do I say? Where where I get my stories from? I'm not just making these up. I'm getting them from places, but the places I'm getting from are all drying up because nobody's like being like, well, here's a funny thing that happened with an alligator in a Florida man. They're like, well, the right. coronavirus is still out there. Okay, so what do you got? Um, I'll give you the one that's from today. Okay. Uh, Ooh. Because I still have some, I've still dug for some old ones too that maybe we just didn't do during um, the time when everything was plentiful. Well, uh, let's get into it. Here's the new one. In Missouri, a woman uh, just gave birth in the Walmart toilet paper aisle. So okay. this just happened. Uh, I know this isn't the, but I'm, I'm more stoked because this is a new story and it was under my weird odd news. Flying dirty. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. So she, a woman gave birth in the toilet paper aisle at a Walmart. Yeah, and I, I mean, I just thought it was kind of interesting because it's like these, everybody's fighting for these paper products now. Yeah, uh, toilet paper and paper towels and everything else is going nuts. That this lady was probably there, just like I need this to come back, and like literally to the point of, <laughs> I need this to come out and this to come back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god! First of all, this woman nine months pregnant in the toilet paper aisle. No thanks. Hey, guess what? It took 45 minutes, so that ain't bad. 45 minutes for a birth? Pretty good. Oh, wow. That's actually really impressive. And customers, meanwhile, could be heard cheering as the woman and her new baby oh, were taken away in an ambulance. This <laughs> is my nightmare, first of all. So this poor woman <laughs> is giving birth publicly, and everyone's going, let's They're cheer her on. sheets up. They were like, I like they really <laughs> they ran to the bedding aisle. They grabbed sheets, and all of them are holding sheets up around her. Oh my God, but I hate this. When I say this. that, it's like the high school students <laughs> that are working at a Walmart that are just like, we'll hold these up for you. Like, I hate this. <laughs> yeah. I, I, this, is, this is fully a nightmare to me. This is fully well, a nightmare. One guy, um, Hinkle, who... His name's uh, Hinkle? Jessica, okay. Jessica Hinkle. Oh, Jessica She's the store manager. Okay. She said, you know, a feel-good moment, everybody's going through so much, and with a baby, it's like everything comes full circle. <laughs> I don't think she knows what full circle means. Okay. I think Jessica just watched E Pray Love and she's she's reaching a little bit. Or something that happened in this store that they don't mention is someone died as well because like someone that's died? Full circle. No, they didn't. Oh, but like they, what's they, they full they circle. Totally. Wow. You know what's um uh, I've been on TikTok. I don't want to brag, but um, my last TikTok has over a thousand views. So anyways, I'm just doing content on there if you want to uh I don't know. Okay get your fill but um i was on tiktok and there's this one tiktoker whose family whose mom is like okay everyone's home i guess she has a bunch of kids and she's like to earn toilet paper you have to do chores and each oh chore is worth a square like certain squares of toilet paper and then like <laughs> okay so me as a 13 year old boy would go to the washroom and i'd walk out of there and be like what do you think happened in there you didn't give me any toilet paper <laughs> I'm sure it was I'm sure it was for a joke but like the TikTok was so funny where like the kid comes into his mom's like office and she has the younger kid with a calculator and he's like I did all my chores and she's like okay what did you do and then she was counting it up and then the little kid had a big calculator and was counting up all the different points also he had glasses that were just hanging on the end of his nose this little kid being <laughs> yeah. like, with a oh. visor an accountant's visor yeah and um and the kid earned like, you know, nine squares of toilet paper. And his mom was like, one, two, three, four. And then like gave whoa, him. Whoa, whoa. Oh, that's the single ply. That's the single ply. <laughs> he had to do. He, she's like, well, what choice did you do? And he's like, I fed the cats. I did this. Whatever. I was just like, oh, that's kind Let of me fun. Just take a look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's got a visor on. Oh, yeah. He's smoking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was loving it. I think that that's so great. Um, do you have any other dumb stories? 
Yeah, but I, these are ones I had to sort of like dig through. Uh-huh. Uh, so they're from a bit older news. Okay. Um, like, for example, in February, the end of February, so not too long ago. But did you know, um, do you know Count Binface? What? Because he's Count Binface. He's been he's been around before. He no. he ran against Boris Johnson in the UK for to for a bid. Uh, and now he's running for the mayor of London. And we're we'll, I'll, I'll send you this picture because the guy's hilarious. But it's just a character that literally like runs for he's running for mayor now and he's you won't see his face ever he's got a big garbage can on his head and it cuts out and it looks like a monster and he's what he's, he says that he's from another planet uh okay so uh he's been quoted as saying london it's the greatest city on the planet i call it the earth capital um and no. as such it needs people from outside the earth to pay its dues no anyways i don't want this <laughs> i don't want that I don't want it. I'd like to talk it, to your. Can I talk to your manager? Digging. I'm digging for gold, and all I'm finding is fools. Gold, I would like to talk. I'd like to talk to your manager, please. I'd like to talk to your manager. Can I talk to your manager, please? I don't have a man. I think you're my manager. You're my manager. Oh, I am your manager. Well, that was embarrassing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. I don't want to see this conversation. Oh, thank God. Jen's on the thread now. And she said, yes, playoff beard. Somebody noticed. No, I, I'm <laughs> hating everything that's happening. Do you feel like you're trying to get into a routine? Like this morning, I was like, I want to get up. I want to do my hair and makeup. I want to like get ready for the stream. Yes. Okay. So when well, we also have, um, because, because we got, because we got a young son, we we're trying to put a schedule together. So he also stays like, uh, I don't know, in I... some sort of routine because right now he's like learning the foundations of what life is. So yeah. Are you going to start homeschooling? So I saw on Instagram today, a lot of people going, okay, homeschooling starts today. Uh, well, he's not old enough where it's like, we're going to have to run through. Um, yes, we are going to, homeschooling for us is going to be um, maybe having some times when he's trying to learn how to read and smaller amounts of time like that, but just making sure that he's being active and then finding times when he can be creative. So it's just right. putting an hour and be like, go, you can, you can paint or draw or like something you're not watching TV this hour. We're going to read a book and you're going to try to sound out some words with us. Cute. Um, yeah, it's fun. Mm. It's weird, but it's fun. It's weird because like you learn going through it again, how, how screwed up English is. Oh, all how, the different like, rules fall all over the place where you're like, yeah, but yeah, but it's also like, yeah. Like, why is this word like this? And like, like the other day he was going, please and peas, like they're the same thing. But why, why does please have an end on of it? But peas doesn't when all you're doing is adding an L. And I was like, you're, you're smart, not wrong, dude. <laughs> no, he's not wrong. But there's so many things like that. I'm just like, yeah, how do you? Exactly. I, I mean, like if I put the stuff in my brain into his brain. Oh, we're no. In trouble. Yeah, we don't need. That's the thing. I, I think I realized my my parents or my mom speaks a different language like she had debbieisms that are just words that aren't real and, and it's just at a different volume by the way oh completely i mean i can't judge her i think i'm screaming right now and i think i'm whispering and i'm on a microphone but um you know my mom used to talk about her one of her favorite movies which is a uh, tele jamaica nights which is talladega nights with will ferrell <laughs> Tell the Jamaican that. She'd be like, you know that? Um, She'd be like, you know it's that? It's all uh, white people. I don't think oh, there's one person of color in the whole movie. It's a tele, tele Jamaican What is Nights. it? Tele Jamaican Nights with um, that uh, Will, um, what is it? Will, uh, Will Myrtle or whatever. Like we'd be like, no, that's not even, that's not even close to a real word. Uh, but now I'm realizing well, not now, but it's been years. But I'm like, oh, yeah, my parent, like, I say words that I think are real words and they're not at all. And that was taught to me yeah. by. My well, mother. also, I'm finding things out now. Like, I told you, I used to think socks, the plural of socks, was S O X. Oh, God. You never told me that. <laughs> I, this is going to, you're going to love this even more. Do you know when I found out that socks <laughs> was not spelled S O X? Oh, it was recently. Pretty recently. I was in um, one of my first Skechersons things, and Craig Brandt was like, why did you spell it like this? And I was like, because that's how it's spelled. <laughs> oh, and he was no. like, are you a fucking... 
out of anybody, Craig Brown had to uh, point it out. And I was like, oh, well, and you know, I, Craig, Craig was not, he did not no, hold back. No, he doesn't <laughs> suffer duds. Just never has, never will. I, um, there's nothing scarier to me than having to spell in front of people or submit something that I have written um, oh, yeah, with confidence. Right. Ask me to spell, like the, the scariest word for me is inconvenience. I've never spelt it right yeah. the first time. I, I, yeah, I just rely on spell check for everything now. Grammarly. I wish they were sponsoring because, wow, they're quite the treat. But I, no, spelling, absolutely not. I can't, I can't and I shan't. And I went on that Nigel whole vibe. Well, I mean, listen, I'll tell her. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know what's so funny is my dad, I was talking to my dad and he goes, guess what I've been watching? And I go, what? He goes, a little Can bit I of. Guess? Can I guess? Can I guess? Can I guess? Sure. King Tiger. <laughs> Jason, I can't. <laughs> That's a Trust me. Tell your dad about King Tiger. He'll be into it. Okay, to explain to my dad King Tiger, I would need to explain to him the internet, Netflix, login, scrolling, oh. searching, and finding. So he's still watching Two Guys, A Girl, in a Pizza Place. First of all, I love that show. We're not talking about it <laughs> enough, Two Guys, A Girl, in a Pizza Place. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds before he got all beefed up. I can't. Yeah. You know, um, But no, my dad goes, guess what I've been watching? And I go, what? He goes, the regulars. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> My dad's a my dad's a big fan of the regulars now. He says, um, either I'm That's laughing. Great. Either I'm laughing and, and you're taking a break and then you start laughing and then I take a little break. <laughs> He's like, you're always laughing. <laughs> so he thinks opposite things are funny. <laughs> no, he says you're either laughing or I'm laughing. Oh, me or you. I thought you meant him listening. He's like, I'm laughing and I, and you guys aren't laughing. But then when you guys start laughing, I don't get it. <laughs> when you guys are having a good time, I'm like, what the hell is this? <laughs> no. No, uh, but have you watched? I love it? your dad. Your dad's great. Oh, he's great. Well, hi, dad. Uh, now I know that you're watching, and I hope that you're. Um, I hope that you're having a nice time. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, so, are you watching? What is this, Tiger King? I just started last night. I'm only an episode in. Okay, so it's about a man who owns tigers, and then murders. Um, as far as I can tell, so far, yeah, it's about the exotic sort of world the world of owning exotic animals as far as i can tell again i'm only one episode in is it gonna make uh, me it sad sounds like it, it sounds like it's getting to a murder like not that it sounds like it definitely shows you it's going to get to this murder i'm gonna watch it because i have the time but i mean does he does he take care of the animals yeah i mean like you gotta watch it and if you're already like sensitive about zoos and stuff like that this might be difficult but like uh Ugh. it seems like they're treated well it's I, just if you don't like them, like animals in captivity, then I you don't. already don't like the, the the fact that there are zoos, so you're in trouble already. But. I just have a problem with zoos and like Sea World and Marine Land, and I can't with yeah. it. It's really hard. You yeah. know, I remember I well, took. It starts off because he starts. This is um as far as I know so far, it's a documentary that took five years. It was five years in the making, and the guy started. He was going to look at snakes. I'm sorry. Are, I just like, need to point. Things. Sorry, I just need to point out that my old neighbor is. Uh, it's raining outside, and he's holding an umbrella and staring at me, talking to you right now. <laughs> <laughs> is it full eye contact? I love it. No, because he's um, he's kind of standing where like he's where a tree, like where leaves are kind of covering his face. Okay. He's peeking through the leaves. <laughs> <laughs> What is it's like my it son must... playing hide and go seek. He, okay. he covers his eyes. He thinks he's hidden. He's like camouflage. Yeah. And you're like, okay, buddy, I can't with this. Um, no, no, no. I'm totally into it. I'm like, where is he? See, oh my God, I cannot see him. I want to thank Audrey for getting in the chat. This old man neighbor is too much. He's too much. Yeah. And Audrey knows. Um, he, uh, but it must be weird for him looking in this window and I have like a camera on me and, um, and like a mic. That's got to be weird. And lipstick brooch. And lipstick brooch. Hello, hello. Yeah. Um, and he's going to be like, that lipstick doesn't even match your lips. What's happening? Am I frozen to you? Not at all. Oh. It's it's uh, it's frozen to me. Oh, on the feed you're frozen, yes. Oh my God, what a cool face to be frozen as. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I'm dying. This is hilarious. Um... 
Okay, well, this is... I guess I should move more. I I love that everyone's like, yes, you're frozen. I don't know. I can't fix it. I mean, we're here. What am I going to do? You can can all still hear Stacy, correct? This is actually like a very flattering way to be frozen. Like, I'm loving it. (laughs) I'm loving it so much. Uh, No, I can't with this. But it must be such a weird image with me with this like mic and talking and, you know. Maybe if I just put a picture of myself up and like it's frozen as well, then we're fine. Oh, yeah. Then then we'll be fine. Here, let me try and uh, figure this out. I don't have any pictures of myself. Oh, you don't? I guess. Well, I guess I'm always the one taking them if it's on my phone. Oh, I'm still frozen. Okay. Will this work? I'm disappearing. I'm disappearing. Oh, no. <laughs> this is like when Garth's sitting there all alone in Wayne and, in Wayne and Wayne's world. Oh, yeah. And he's like, I'm okay. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. Everything's okay. <laughs> Help. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what is happening. I think you're still coming back frozen, so I don't know what's happening. Oh, who knows? I can't I can't overthink it. It's it's we are having a classic goddamn Monday. I can't with it. Let, let's get back to it then. Okay, I, another I have story. One more story. Yeah, it's a dumb story, um, and it's actually from California, where um, I don't know if you know this, but in LA, like it, it is a problem. Like there are, there's, there's a, like homeowners are always. I'm on this neighborhood thing, and these always homeowners being like, "This guy came to my garage, or this guy came up to my door at like 7 a.m. in the morning." There, because there's right, just so many people here. So this guy had to deter them because they had floodlights that were motion censored. And they're like, it's still not keeping people away from my house. Like they're just being like, cool, the light's on, I'm here. So he set it up that he has, let me just read it. So it doesn't come in contact. A California homeowner uses motion activated sprinkler with impressive amount of pressure to thwart thieves. So basically he's got a thing when you walk by, it turns a fire hose on you and shoots you off the lawn essentially. What? Yeah. That's so funny. Uh, People yeah. are really over me being frozen and I, I, I can't help it. I know. And now you're moving me all over the place. What's happening? Oh, what a fail. Just what an absolute full fail. I can see you just fine. I know. I'm trying to like, I'm trying to figure it out, everyone. I'm really sorry. Don't make me this big. My my rosacea my rosacea is gonna pop. <laughs> I gotta start wearing makeup in the morning now. Oh my god, I can't with it. I don't know. I'm still frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Should we just end the stream at this point? Um, apparently, your keyboard clicking is going nuts as well, which I can't hear. But somebody has wrote keyboard clicking. So okay, thanks for supporting us through. Um, we might just hey. want what. Oh, no, you're back in a, in a weird way. What do you mean? You're moving your frozen... Pa- I mean, you've seen this already. I'm just seeing it. I'm a bit delayed when I watch the, the yeah. feed. No, I know. Yeah. Well, listen, this has just been a full um, mess today, so maybe we should just like end this scenario. Oh, no. <laughs> what? Let's bring this one back tomorrow, but what I want you to do for homework is think about what your creative security home system would be because this guy's got the water and they have video of it there's like guys right up on like bikes and then it sprays them and they just like and they they jet really quickly and they leave <laughs> you like it because you so, are obsessed with pranks yeah <laughs> <laughs> caught me Okay, this is a full mess. I can't with it. Okay, but everyone. I also like it because I'm like, people could be like, well, no, that's, and especially in the States, like, no, that's why I got a gun. And I'm like, no, just like have a fun way to get rid of people away from your house. If if you're worried about people coming to your house, that's fun. Right. Hmm. I appreciate this guy. That's all. I know you do. It's probably Brad Pitt's house. Or no, George Clooney. Who's the one? George Clooney's pranks? full pranks. George Clooney. Pranks. <laughs> I've pranked you. I'm George Clooney. Okay. Oh, guys, Mondays. Mondays, huh? we did it. Thank you to everyone who um, 
who was listening and sorry about the technical stuff is we will fix that so it doesn't happen again. Um, again, if you're listening to this and haven't watched yet, you can watch 1230 We Go Live at youtube.com slash Stacey McGonigal so you can watch this whole stream. And if you're listening to this and want to see the um, full fuckery that is this episode, <laughs> you can watch it back. We make it available right after. And if you're watching this, um, we also make it as a podcast so you can listen back too. Is there anything, Jason, you'd like to say? That uh, we'll be back tomorrow in a in a big way. We'll be back tomorrow in a big way. Thanks to everyone in the chat. Nigel, we will be talking also, with you. Yeah, what? I'll say this too. Um, because we normally do a weekly or, or, or twice a week. We're going, now we're doing five days a week. Mm -hmm. If there's something, no one has got back to us yet. If there's a question you have or something you want us to chat about, let us know. Because we'll definitely jump on board with that and have a day exploring something. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, can't wait. Um, well, thank you. Thank you, everyone who was watching and um, being in the chat. And sorry about the clicking.